This afternoon we have live team coverage looking at the numbers reported as well as the discrepancies with them. Also a potential treatment for the coronavirus. We begin with our live team coverage with that treatment. St. Louis University is now involved in what is a worldwide study to test a potential treatment for COVID-19. Ray Preston has been talking with one of the doctors behind the study. He joins us live this afternoon with more. Well, the research is being conducted at the Doisy Research Center. That's the building right across the street from St. Louis University Hospital. You can see it right up the street here. It's at the intersection of Grand and Shoto. Now, we need to be clear. This is not about a vaccine. St. Louis University is taking part in a study that is looking at a drug that is a possible treatment for those who actually have COVID-19. The study is going to go on for at least several more weeks. It's being this drug is being studied at multiple sites in the United States and internationally. And we anticipate in a few more weeks they'll have enrolled enough people to actually figure out whether or not there is a beneficial effect. Dr. Sarah George is talking about the drug remdesivir. She says right now there are perhaps three to five patients at St. Louis University Hospital with COVID-19. In people who are hospitalized with COVID-19 disease, we're doing a study in consenting people whereby they either get remdesivir or a placebo to see whether or not the remdesivir is actually beneficial. Right now, patients with COVID-19 are being treated for their symptoms, such as fever, coughing, and breathing problems, but they are not being treated for the virus itself. The drug being tested is an antiviral treatment. A medication that interferes with the virus's ability to reproduce itself. Remember, viruses are not free living. They can only cause disease if they get into your body's cells and start replicating. And if this drug can stop that process, then that's very helpful. That will both treat the person and also anyone who might be exposed by that person if it works. And coming up at six, we'll take a closer look at the timeline on this study and how many more patients or people they would really like to have for this. Reporting live in South St. Louis, Ray Preston, News 4.